These are some dinar guru updates, starting off with Bruce via Wiser Now. The new Iraqi dinar, the NID, was placed on the bank screens for trading last Sunday. The dinar came out at 68 cents, and by 11 a.m. Monday, it had traded up to $5.60. It should be trading much higher than that now and should be trading on up to numbers that we had talked about, that Dr. Shabibi had talked about. I am hearing that we should be good at that number or greater, so we'll see how that goes. It's certainly on its way now and is being traded as we speak right now internationally, globally. It's being traded on what we would call gray screens or back screens for the banks. When the time is right, it will be placed out on the front screens with other currencies that we are looking to exchange. RV already says the RV seems to be rounding the far turn headed for the home stretch. A Mountain Goat article quote, Iraq advances 10 ranks globally. The central bank announces the increase in its gold reserves. The bank confirmed the purchase of new quantities of gold, an increase of 35% over what was in possession. Uh, Frank 26 article, quote, a government advisor sets the date for sending 22 to 2023 budgets from the government to parliament, unquote. Frank 26 says the exchange rate does not have to wait until October. It is the budget that awaits a new world rate. Mark Z via PDK article, quote, financial advisor Mazar Muhammad Salih surprised the Iraqis about the possibility of changing or reducing the exchange rate of the dollar against the dinar, unquote. Mark Z said this means the dinar gains value. They also just said the day before that they needed 100 signatures from parliamentary members to address the value. I believe they got those signatures. And they are talking about changing the rate nonstop over there. Um, And they need to change the value. We have not seen them change the value yet, but they are having open conversations with their people and in their parliament about this. With the IMF, the U.S., etc. This is exceptional news and we need to buckle up and hold on through these final days. Militiaman article quote, the central bank announces that Iraq gold reserves have risen to more than 130 tons. Now we finally see that 30 to 40 tons of gold show up they found on the Syrian border. Uh, question, why now are they, te- why are they telling us this now? Militiaman says, well, they have far more reserves now than ever needed for to support the new exchange rate change. Let's see. Samson article quote, Iran wants al Qazimi to remain in his position and the leaders of the coordination framework meet with him in Tehran in the presence of Ismail Khani. Tivan article quote, a government advisor sets the date for sending the 22 to 23 budgets from the government to parliament. Keep in mind what they need the 22 budget for. They don't need it for money simply because they're only willing to put an extra 25 trillion in the 22 budget, more than half of what is in the EFSL. They only want to approve the budget for the final accounts, and the 22 to 23 budget will be for new projects. The FSL is currently being used to pick up on stalled projects from the previous 21 budget. Why? Because that particular budget was supposed to be raised, supposed to raise the value of the IQD. But since they never formed a government last year, they couldn't open it. Caperoni, uh, what is being talked about in Iraq is not an RV, as the gurus insist. They are educating citizens via symposiums on a currency exchange, which is a neutral event, a LOP. Uh, We have to hope this plan for the currency exchange is not implemented, and they follow guidance of the IMF, which is encouraging them to gradually appreciate the currency over time based on success and growth of the economy. This is the best chance of any significant gain. All right, walking stick via Frank 26. When the IQD goes on an international float, it will become convertible. At that point, the CBI will inject the NSCN into streets slash into the hands of the Iraqi citizens to defend their exchange rate. The idea when they do go international and float their currency 
the IQD will be within 2% to 3% compliant as required. They are telling the citizens the CBI has the means to defend their exchange rate as it floats. All right, God Lover says the EFSL was created to get them through the current crisis and to give their citizens immediate relief. Honestly, I think some of what we're witnessing is a lot of uncertainty with Iraq officials just trying to come up with short-term solutions until the political situation can be resolved and at the point where the CBA feels comfortable enough to take action. Until then, it's just all theoretical. Lastly, Mark Z via PDK, I have not seen an update in timing, but most of my folks are looking for something spectacular to happen in the first week in July.